Welcome to this Junior Cycle Higher Level Maths revision video. In this video, we're going to do some algebra revision and specifically look at linear equations from word problems. We're going to focus on using some past junior certificate exam questions, and these will contain both higher level and ordinary level questions. So this is from the Junior Certificate Ordinary Level 2013 Paper 1. Clodagh says, when 8 is added to 3 times a number, the result is 47. Anna worked out the correct answer, is, which is 13. Show one method Anna could have used to get the correct answer. So I'm going to focus on creating an algebraic equation here in order to solve it. So <clears throat> when we're translating from word problems to the maths itself, it's similar to translating between languages. So we have 8 is added to, so that's a plus, 3 times a number. Now, a number, if we don't know it, we generally use a letter to stand for it. I like X, but you could use any number. So we have 3 times a number. Times means multiplied. So it's 3 multiplied by X. Now, that can simply be written like this, 3x. So that's 3 multiplied by x. The result is, that means equals, and then we have 47. Now, we're going to solve this like we would solve any linear equation. We will use a bit of vertical balancing, take away an 8 from both sides. That leaves us with 3x equals 39 divide both sides by 3 and we get x equals 13, which given the way this question was asked, we know is the correct answer. This is a junior certificate ordinary level question from the 2012 paper 1. Jane said Molly a word problem. If I multiply a number by 7 and add 4, the result is the same as multiplying the number by 3 and taking 8. Molly starts by writing 7x plus 4 equals, finish Molly's equation and solve it for the number. Okay, so let's focus in on what we've been asked. If I multiply a number, now again, we don't know what this number is, so I'm going to let this number be x. So when I multiply the number x by 7, so that's going to be 7 multiplied by x, which is 7x. So multiply a number by 7 and add, so plus 4, 4. The result is equals the same as, so we're going to create another expression, multiplying the number, so again, it's the same number, okay? It didn't say a different number, it's the same number. So we're going to multiply that same number by 3. So it's 3 times x, which is 3x, and taking 8. So taking, taking away, subtract, so that's minus 8. So the 7x plus 4 equals, we were given that part, and we filled in the 3x, minus 8. So finish Molly's equation, we've done this, and then solve to find the number. So I'm going to use some vertical balancing. I'm going to take away 4 from both sides. That leaves me here with 7x equals 3x minus 12. I'm then going to take away a 3x from both sides. Remember we want to get letters on the left, numbers on the right. That leaves me with 4x equals minus 12. And then our final step is to divide both sides by 4, which gives me a final answer of x equals minus 3. This is a Genius Certificate Ordinary Level question from the 2014 paper. John is three times as old as Mary. Remember, the word times means multiply. Mary's age in years is represented by x. 
So in this particular question, they've given us the letter to use. So that is Mary's age. So Mary's age in years is represented by X. Select one expression from A, B, C and D, which represents John a, John's age. So we have Mary's age, which is X, and John is three times as old as Mary. So three times X, which is three multiplied by X. And the best description of that that we have is B, three X, three times X. Select one expression from A, B, C, D and E above, which represents John's age in three years time. So if I asked you what age you are now and then asked you what age will you be in three years, you would add three to your current age. So currently John is 3x. So in three years, he's going to have an extra three years. We're going to add on three. So the correct expression there is C. Select one expression from A, B, C, D and E above, which represents Mary's age in three years time. So Mary is currently X. And then in three years time, she's going to have an extra three years. We're going to add on three. And that is A. In three years time, John's age added to Mary's age will give a total of 26. Write down an equation in X to represent this statement. Okay, so in three years time. So we're working with these two expressions. John's age, which we worked out is 3X plus three. So John's age added, so plus to Mary's age. Again, Mary's age in three years which is x plus 3, will give a total of, will equal 26. <clears throat> so that's our equation. We can tidy that up by adding like terms. So we have a 3x plus an x, we have a 3 plus a 3. So this simplifies to 4x plus 6 equals 26. The last part, part V, asks us to solve that. So we have 4x plus 6 equals 26. We're going to take away a 6 from both sides, so our vertical balancing. We get 4x equals 20. Divide both sides by 4. And our final answer is x equals 5. And remember, x was... Mary's age, so Mary is currently five. This is a junior certificate higher level question. It's from the 2018 paper one. It is a long question. I'm going to do it in full and hopefully it is helpful. So a group of friends make a video and post it on YouTube. They know that they will be paid approximately 15 euro for each 10,000 views of the video. Use this information to answer the following question questions work out how many views the video would need in order to be paid 45 euro okay so this can be done kind of with ratios or we can bring it back to um per unit so we can say how much will each view get and because there's the views are so big we can instead look at the idea of 45 and see that 45 is actually a multiple of 15. So there are three 15s in 45. So they will need three of these 10,000 views. So if we do 45 divided by 15, there's three. So we're going to have three by 10,000 views, which means they're going to need 30,000 views. Work out how much in euro they'll be paid for 80,000 views of the video. So we'll do this one focusing on views. Um, how many 10,000s are within 80,000? And the answer is there are eight. So they will get eight 15s. And that will give them 120 euro. So work out how much in euro they'll be paid on average for one view. Okay, so this is bringing it back to per unit. So it's 15 euro 
per. Now, per means divide, so it's per 10,000. So what we can do is simply do 15 divided by, remember your fraction means divided, and we get something that's really tiny. So that will give us our answer in euro. So it's 0 0.00. .00. 0.015 and um, this may come up in scientific notation so if it does multiply by a hundred that will convert it to cent and um, which will give you 0 0.15 cent the answer needs to be in euro but you may find it easier to work with the cent number and then to write it in euro if like I said, your calculator has given it to you in standard form or scientific notation. So the video costs 70 euro to make. It does not cost anything to post the video on YouTube. Write an expression in X for the profit they will get for X views of the video. So now we're really getting into this idea of our word problems. So the video costs 70 euro. That's not going to change. What does change is how much they get for each view. So we've just worked out that they get 0 0.0015 euro per view. And if I told you they got 100 views, we'd multiply by 100. If I told you they got 1,000 views, we'd multiply it by 1,000. These are based off X views. So we're going to have 0 0.0015 multiplied by x which means i can just put the x beside it now that's how much money they make okay this is what they make and uh, the cost is stuck it's constant and the cost is 70. so the profit to figure out how much profit it'll be how much they make minus the cost so we have 0.0015x take away 70. Now what will happen is if that number x is lower than a specific number, they will not make a profit. So for example, if they only got 10,000 views, we're going to find that they'll actually make a negative profit, which is a loss. So now there are seven people in the group. They divide the profit from the video evenly between them and they each get 200 euro in profit. Write an equation in X to represent this information where X is the total number. And I think what's missing there, it should say of views. So we've just worked out 0.0015X minus 70 and when this was split or divided seven ways everyone got 200. Now that is the equation itself if you're not a fan of fractions we can get rid of fractions also if you didn't want to start with a fraction you could have said well if there were seven people and they all got 200 then that's the same as the profit 0.0015x take away 70 would have been 1,400. Now you would have got the same answer if you'd multiply both sides by the denominator to get rid of the fraction. So there's two ways that we can think about this. Um, it then says work out the value of x, the total number of views of the video. Okay, so now we actually want to solve this. So to solve this, I'm going to work on it across both places. I'm going to add 70 to both sides. That gives me 0.0015x. These cancel and that equals 1470. Now, this is like any other coefficient of x. We're going to divide both sides by that coefficient. And what we end up with is x equals... 980,000 views.